So I'm going to save this as something else. I already have my basic lower third. This is going to be my lower third with logo. So I'm going to call it lower third logo. And I could also go in and create, you know, another, you know, a, another line down here if I wanted, or I could make this text smaller and create room for multiple lines of text. Anyways, these are the two basic components that you're going to have to use importing the Illustrator file. And to do that within Illustrator, it's just a matter of copy and paste, creating the lower third and editing a gradient, adding the text and picking the, the correct size. I've saved this and I would probably need to go back in and open recent. So I have my basic lower third, so I want to open that as well. And what I want to do here is just export this as a PNG. So I would go export. You can export for screens. Here I don't need to change the size, so export as is going to work perfectly fine. Uh, we want PNG. We only have one artboard, so we don't have to worry about that, and it's going to be perfectly fine without it. If you use artboards, it's going to ask you the range and all those things. It's, it's not essential. So PNG, export. And you want to make sure that the background color is set to transparent. Click OK. And we have one exported. Go to lower third logo. And we'll do the same thing. So we've saved this, saved both files. And we're going export, export as, lower third logo, perfect. Transparent, that's great. OK. And now they're both exported. So if we go and look at the PNG, I have my original Illustrator file. I have my, my PNG file for each one. And here it just shows the graphic by itself and with a transparent background, that is usually what you're, you're going to get. So there's the Illustrator file and this is the PNG. The nice thing about saving it as a PNG, you don't have to save a separate alpha channel. Uh, the alpha channel is part of the export, so we'll get this nice kind of transparency here. And if you're working in a Adobe video edit program, you could actually just bring the Illustrator files directly in, but the PNGs will work well in other places.